Hi everyone, this is a quick video to introduce to you the Bible software I use, which some of you might be interested in purchasing or in using in the library. This is all set up on one of the computers in the library. This makes doing your homework or studying very easy. To give it, so this is called Accordance Bible Software. To give an example, I've come to one of our sentences for homework, James 4.2. And you'll see I have the Greek New Testament in the left-hand column. I have the NRSV in the right-hand column and I have a dictionary opened over on the side. You can set this up however you want. You can add extra panes with different translations. I have some other tabs where I have Syriac versions of the New Testament. Uh, I have one with different Greek recensions. Um, I even have a couple modern Hebrew translations. Anyway, so say you just want to read some New Testament. You come to James 4.2, and one of the nicest things about this software is any word you hover over with your cursor, you get parsing at the bottom of the screen. So you'll see that epithumete, I can see that it comes from epithumeo, I can see that that word means desire, and I can see that it's second plural present active indicative. So you desire and uk ekete, you do not have, you murder and you are zealous or jealous and you are not able to obtain. Epi to Cain. Hmm, that looks infinitive. What tense is it? Ah, I look at the bottom and I see that turns out to be an aorist infinitive. Let's come to the part of the sentence which we had for homework. Uk echete dia ta me itesthai humas. You do not have because of dia plus the accusative gives you purpose because of the not asking, and our subject of the infinitive will be in the accusative, because you don't ask. All right, so far so good, and that's an easy sentence. You probably had no trouble with it, but what's nice here is if you triple click on a word, I already had that word, any word you triple click on, the dictionary will spring to that word. So there's lambanate, and there's an entry, a rather lengthy entry, because as we've said already, that's a really common word. Um, let's come back to iteo. One thing I would be curious with this word is it's passive in form. I taste thy. Passive or middle in form. But that verb also shows up in an active form. Look at the very next sentence. I taste, you ask, and you don't receive. And then one more time, I taste that because you ask badly. So what's the difference between the active form and this middle deponent form? Or is the word deponent? Well, by triple clicking and opening the dictionary by triple clicking, if the dictionary entry happens to mention the particular verse you're in, that will be highlighted in red, which is a wonderful feature because there can be a lot to wade through if it's not highlighted in red. So in this case, they, they address precisely what we had in mind. All right, the verb is easy. It means to ask for, to demand. But here's the question. What about the voice? So they say, without any real distinction between active and middle, the distinction between active, putatively to mean to ask outright, and the middle, which would mean to ask as a loan, which was found by ancient grammarians, has only very limited validity for our literature. They then give references to two of the reference grammars, BDF, Blasterbrunner Funk, and Moulton. So there are two entries where you could learn more about the loss of significance of the distinction between the active and the middle. Compare James 4, 2 and following, where they seem to be used interchangeably. That is, where the active and the middle are used without any real distinction. One other thing that the computer lets you do very quickly is search words. So we could search iteomai and just see how it appears. And so here we get a dative participle, we get an infinitive in the active, active second person, active participle. We, do, we looked at this verse before, everyone who asks receives. Mostly it's active. And if we wanted to narrow our search even more, so you can scroll through and see all the uses in the New Testament, you can see that it occurs 67 times. You can even get a graph of the hits. What I think is most useful is you can search in a particular way so say we want this verb, and we want to see how often it occurs with the middle voice. Well, there we get the answer, 32 times. In general, there's a lot that this program does. So I've got 
The same thing for Hebrew Bible. Here's the Hebrew text, instant parsing, triple click, and you get the you get the dictionary, you get the NRSV, another English translation, you got the Septuagint here, and likewise you can triple click. And you know, you can buy as many texts as you want. So I have an entirely parsed Dead Sea Scrolls. Um, and you can even get the Greek Dead Sea texts, and I've got Hebrew Ben Sira, um, et cetera, et cetera. So for your purposes, you can just start with the Greek New Testament, and there's a lot to like. And I think just by reading quickly, it can just make it easier to read because you save yourself looking up a lot of words. You can start to get familiar with things, and anything you want to look up, you have the dictionary right there to hand.